Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? Um, let's start with uh, the, uh, as you know, we, we had a series of meetings this morning. Um, we started uh, with the report by um, Madame Izumi Nakamitsu on Am I here? Okay. Madame Nakamitsu, the Under Secretary General, High Representative for Disarmament, uh, on the question of the uh, report of the uh, Secretary General, uh, of the, um, sorry, Director General of the OPCW. Uh, we, uh, we stressed uh, the need to secure or to make sure that investigations uh, on the issue of uh, the use of chemical weapons are carried out in uh, a very objective and uh, impartial way. Uh, we also determined to make sure that accountability is a central element uh, once investigations are, are concluded. Uh, secondly, we also had um, uh, briefing by um, US, USG um, Feldman on the situation on the DRC, particularly in regard to the, the human rights situation in, in, in Kazai uh, and also on the uh, killings of the two members of the United Nations group of experts. Uh, we took note of the establishment of a Board of Inquiry by the United Nations, which was announced by the Secretary General um, a few days ago. And uh, we also took notice on the ongoing investigations of the death of the two members of the group of experts. Uh, we reiterated the need for swift and uh, full investigations into the killings, and we underlined the need for full cooperation from the government of the DRC. Uh, we also welcomed the Secretary General's commitment that the United Nations will do everything possible to ensure that the perpetrators are brought to justice. Uh, and the members also express our concern about the closure of the investigation by the Congolese authorities. And uh, that's basically all I have to report as uh, President of the Security Council. There's a question. Uh, Mr. Mr. Ambassador, uh, several questions. First, on the investigation, was there any discussion about the Security Council asking the United Nations to undertake a formal investigation? which it has not been asked to do, especially since the two people were, who were killed were actually working for a Security Council sanctions committee. And um, on North Korea, um, could you um, give us a report on exactly what was discussed during the closed council consultations, was there discussion of a new uh, resolution and possible new sanctions? What other issues were raised? On the investigations of the killings in DRC, the appropriate authorities for investigations are the authorities of the DRC. That's where the uh, facts happen. That's where the deaths occurred. Therefore, it is the responsibility of the host government to do the criminal investigation. What we uh, understand is that there must be uh, very thorough cooperation um, with the government of the DRC and the United Nations on the exchange of information on the investigations themselves. On the DRC, as you know, oh, on, the, on the DPRK, we, uh, as you know, we issued a statement yesterday. Therefore, that is exactly the extent of the, of the discussions. The 
con the Council is firmly united uh, in rejecting the uh, continuation of the launching of rockets by, by uh, Korea. Uh, and what we had was a briefing by the uh, USG Feldman, uh, mainly on the technical nature of the, of the launch. It is uh, the second time they launch uh, one of their you know, medium-range ballistic missiles, 11 in total this year which basically means a quantum leap and a determined effort to uh, acquire uh, aggressive capabilities, and that is of major concern. Was there, was well, you mentioned that there was, there was concerns about the closure of the investigation. Mm -hmm. Can, because, I mean, they have uh, charged two people. They have charged two people. The investigation is closed, and they are proceeding into, into the trials themselves. Um, there, and this is at least the view of some of us, there could be uh, enhanced cooperation. Uh, the, the killings are happened in the context of a very violent situation in, uh, in Congo. Uh, their people that are involved may not all be uh, have been, uh, properly identified. There was a large group of people involved in this. So there is area for sharing of information that could perhaps deepen the investigation, at least that's the view of some of us, not uh, something Mr. the Ambassador. Council would say. Sorry, Mr. Ambassador, on deep, uh, DPRK following uh, Edith's question, was there or was there not a uh, discussion on a possible sanctions resolution on DPRK? And on Syria, uh, what was the discussion in the Council about uh, the cooperation of the regime? It looks like they're not cooperating with the investigation. Thank you. Uh, on Syria? Two questions. One yeah, the but but uh, the the it's in Syria. In Syria, uh, the investigations are basically linked to things that occurred in areas not controlled by the government. So it's very very difficult to say the government's not cooperating uh, when the areas are when the access to the areas is not in the hands of, of the government. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, on, uh, on the DPRK, um, the issue of further action by the Council has been uh, even included in the statement of yesterday. So, and I always say, you guys have been here longer than I have. You guys have been here longer than I have. Uh, you know that this means that we are discussing and considering different options. And uh, for one uh, decision or other, you need uh, certain coalescence of, uh, of wills so that we can come to an understanding as to which it would be the best way to proceed. On the murder of the two experts, was there any discussion in the Council of, of changing the way in which protection is provided to experts of various sanctions committees, and one of, the, one of them didn't have health insurance. It seems like a lot of issues have been raised about how the UN takes care of its people. Um, Did this arise and what's going to be done? Uh, this is precisely the reason why there is a board of inquiry. The board of inquiry will be looking into what is it that the United States, the United Nations has done, what it could have done better, uh, and what has already done, the issue of, of, uh, of medical insurance, uh, the experts are hired under a very specific resolution of the General Assembly mm -hmm. and know the category of, of, uh, of their hiring, the contracts do not include that sort of United Nations health coverage. Okay. Well, we'll have to decide whether maybe they should or they shouldn't, but there are, as you know, financial implications, okay? Yes. 
Ambassador, thank you. Once again, on North Korea, how would you characterize the difference of the conversations between last week and this week? It's exactly a week later, the same issue. And was there more of a focus on dialogue or on sanctions? Could you clarify a little bit on that? I would say it was very similar because things haven't changed that much from one week to the next. But what is uh, what I would insist upon is the a very solid view of all the members of the Council that the attitude, the conduct of the People's Republic of Korea is totally unacceptable. And this is fundamental. And there is, uh, the, the, from there, what the, where the Council is moving, uh, it will be a matter of continued uh, discussions. But there is uh, an absolute condemnation by the 15 members of the Council on the conduct of the um, People's Republic of Korea on this. Thank you very much. Thank you.